Here's an update on the uh, 111 here. I got um, this side over here. Got that all put back somewhat in the shape, but got really nice clearance around the oil drain now. Um, a little dent in there, but got the bolts put in and got that guy all sealed up and it's just looking so much better it's get to the nut the cap and take it off to drain it and the uh this frame rail was tweaked it was actually like twisted out it, and yeah, it was really really out of shape so we got it all straightened back up and looking pretty good what are we at here so that's way better than what it was and I'm over here working on this side <clears throat> had that random little spring right there was just kind of hanging on that shaft and looks like all it does is keep the two uh levers keeps like the slack kind of just pulled snug i don't know what that's for but um the uh choke matic or automatic choke whatever you want to call it on here I um, fooled with it for a while and uh, had this piece of wire. This is the wire that was in this jacket and uh, was hooked up. They had this clamp clamped in here and you just pull it back and forth to operate the choke. And in actuality, this little brace right here was just hanging down and it it's supposed to be fastened right here. So I took that clamp off that they had the uh, sleeve hooked to and hooked the brace up to the carburetor like it's supposed to be. And I fiddled and fooled with the, uh, trying to get the chokomatic figured out. And I was, um, I had this thing hooked on this little arm here and ran over to the, uh, look at here, the choke arm right here and um my hand out of the way boy i had i had all kinds of configurations going on with that guy i had him hooked on that thing and was doing all kinds of stuff and was tweaking and bending on this this nice piece of some type of hardened stainless whatever they use for like throttle and choke cables i tweaked on this guy i tweaked on this guy and had so many different configurations and just couldn't get the quite deal on the joke to choke going and that uh, I finally work hardened it so much it ended up breaking on me but um, I finally there is one video I found on YouTube that had to do with the chokomatic they're actually the same guy has got two of them one's on the new style one's on the older style which this is the older style um, it's a one-piece carburetor the uh, newer style there is a, um, like right about here, there's a flange and the carburetor is fastened on there. That'd be the two-piece style. Um, and then the manifold actually stays onto the engine. So, but here is what this thing does. If you can look down in there, I use this. This little thing right here, that little, that little boss. Choke cable lays in there. There's like a T groove. The camera's not real focused, but there's a T groove in there. And if you watch that arm up above, as the throttle comes down, the throttle comes down, the throttle comes down, right about in there, it would intercept that loop in a rod that comes up to the to the choke arm up here. You can't see it right there. Okay. Now when that goes down, that little bit right there, as soon as it bypasses in there, it hooks that loop. That would hook and choke and grab the choke. And then when you go back down to full throttle or whatever, the choke is on a spring and it would release. None of those manuals, the John Deere manual or the uh, Briggs & Stratton manual or the parts manual, show that rod. And on YouTube, there, like I say, there's two videos. And... Um, when I was fooling with that thing last night, the little rod I had, it kept wanting to fall off of that thing. 
it'd get down about there and fall off and it would fall into that little groove down there. And um, I just couldn't get it figured out. As soon as I clicked on the thumbnail for the video that a guy had on YouTube, it uh, the light bulb went off and I was like, oh, I totally see how it's supposed to go now. So what I have is uh, it's just a flag, but this wire is like a spring type steel wire and I'm gonna bend that and um, it will rust, but it'll be on the engine. It'll probably get a little paint. Um, it's not nice like this piece of stainless here, but it'll work out just fine. It's the same diameter and um, we'll get it bent up. I'll put it in there and uh, we'll do a little clip of the operation. And hopefully this will be two videos on the Chocomatic for the older style Briggs. So there's my, there's my wire that I made for the Chocomatic. And watch the arm go down it goes down and it catches a loop and there it goes pulling it and that's it that's all it takes and working the choke right there the the first arm moving right there is the throttle it's reached full travel now it's engaging and it just engaged the choke so there we go like I say, the manual and the, um, I already put the air cleaner back on it. The manual, well, I painted the carburetor too. I got a new um, fuel line coming for here and I have new fuel lines I'm gonna put on it. But uh, like I say, the manual or the, uh, the the parts manual didn't really give a diagram or a shape of the, of the rod. Um, and the parts breakdown didn't really show where it connects or how it connects. So, and, and the John Deere um, parts manual, just because um, it has a schematic in there for some engine stuff. Um, just no real detail on that thing. And, and with nothing there, it just, I didn't have anything to go by. So, that's it. There's my, I'll do the video. I'll call this one the Chocomatic or Automatic Choke. So, there you go, right there. You see it, there you see it inside here just engaged it right there.